Hello everyone. Good evening. How are you doing today? How was your raya? Yeah, yeah it was fine. good. Thank it you. was good. Raya was good. It was good. Yeah. I'm glad it's very good to hear from everyone. So welcome to our monthly meeting, which we held every month. So I am Hamza bin Zohir, the chairman of the board of directors of Village Grocer, and I will begin by briefly introducing the members of the board of directors. So first we have the secretary, which is um, Mr. Ayman. Then we have the head of HR, Ms. Alia. We have the head of finance, Ms. Duratul Fakia. Um, the project managers, uh, Ms. Zati, and the deputy of the finance department, Mr. Arif. So before I begin, I would like to give the floor of the meeting to anyone who was absent during the last meeting. Um, please come forward and state your reason towards why you were absent. Mr. Hamza, I was yes, not absent please. for the last meeting. I offer my sincerest apologies because there was an emergency as my grandmother had recently died and I had to rush to the hospital. So I apologize. Oh, all right. Okay. My condolences for you and your family, Mr. Arif. Um, since it's an emergency, so I will understand that you couldn't inform us beforehand. So it's okay. All right. <laughs> Never mind then. I'm settled with that matter. We'll proceed to the next okay. agenda of Thank our meeting. Thank you, Ms. Amza. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Amza. All right. All right. Sure, sure. You're most welcome. All right. So proceeding. Um, mm -hmm. Next, we'll be, I'll be passing the meeting to Mr. Ayman as secretary to recap um, the last meeting and any matters that will be arising during this meeting. Mr. Ayman. Thank you, um, Mr. Hamza. And good morning to all. Um, so. During the last meeting, we held a meeting on how to solve the lack of teamwork in our company. And for that meeting, um, we came up to a solution that our company is lack of bonding between cliques. So, for this meeting, the matter that is arising is we need to conduct more activities between workers in the company such as doing sports day or annual dinner to increase their bonding. So that's all from me, Mr. Hamza. Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you, Mr. Ayman. Yes, I do have noticed that we have lack of teamwork and maybe the bonding between our company. And I like your idea regarding the annual dinner. However, since our company has never actually had its own personal Raya dinner, so why not for this year, we make an annual Raya dinner? What, what do you think about that, everyone? I think that sounds wonderful, Mr. Hamza. Yeah, I, right. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I, I agree. Like it. It's better that we use the any budget allocated for an annual dinner and also a Raya dinner together. All right, everybody. So we will be proceeding with the meeting by touching on the budget before doing anything else. However, I would like to inform everyone that in this meeting, we will be coming up with the final decision straight away through votes of the place venue um, quotation and all that so i'll be giving and passing the meeting to um, the head of finance miss duratul okay thank you mr hamza so today i'm going to uh, mention about the allocation that uh, has been allocated by the company um, for this annual raya dinner so uh, since we only have 25 um, people in this company includes including the employers and employee so it is allocated, um, the, the amount of money allocated is in about 2,500 ringgit um, for including the venue and um, all the door gifts and prizes for any activities that will be held. So um, there are a few places that, a few hotels that has been associated with our company since um, since few years ago, which is um, Ruiz Carlton, Blue Wave, Hard Rock, Holiday Villa, and Concord Hotel. Um, so, uh, from I hope that every anyone can choose from these five hotels for our venue. And then, if um, we if we come to decide that we don't want to um, help the um, dinner at any hotel, we can also uh, um, do it at any. Um, 
any hall with um, these two caterings, which is Warisan Catering and Deepa's Catering. So that's all for the budget and quotation. Thank you. Yeah, Alright, thank you Ms. Orto for that uh, budget presentation. So okay, we'll go into detail as we go through the meeting. Next, um, I think the most important part is for us to choose the date. So anyone, suggestions? Um, may I suggest a date for our yes. annual yes. Raya dinner? Okay, um, after much consideration, I think it will be best if we do it on 12 June, which is Saturday. Because first of all, that is um, the last weekend of Raya and it is also on Saturday, which is weekend where I believe everyone will be free, you know. So I think um, doing it on weekend will um, be beneficial for us because all of the employees and employers will be able to attend this uh, annual dinner without having any, um, any um, things on weekend. I think um, that's my suggestion. If uh, other people have uh, any other suggestion, uh, it'll be great. I think I agree with your, your suggestion because um, we all are available on weekend, right? Yeah. Yes, but my suggestion is we provide a specific time for them mm -hmm. so that they can plan uh, their schedule for that dinner. Um, as for time, maybe um, around, uh, I, I think uh, maybe around 8 or 10 would be okay, you know, because it's like after Maghrib and it's also before midnight, so it's, yeah, that's yes, for like my that, suggestion. That's I a very agree suitable, suitable yes. date. What was the date again just now? Um, 12th June. 12th June, Saturday. right. So 12th June, um, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., is it? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, I feel like we can all agree on that. Um, Mrs. Zati and Mr. Arif, would you second to that? Are you? Would you guys be okay with that? Uh, yes. I think yes because uh, it's suitable for us like to relax at that time after we have gone through the work, work hours, working hours. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. That's good. So as a project manager, also you play a very big role in choosing the date. So okay. So our final date of choosing is 12th June um, and the time would be 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. All right. Okay, everybody, um, that's done with the budget. So today, now, we will um, proceed with um, the choosing of the venue. So anyone, do you have any suggestions on between the five places that Dur Ms. Duratul has mentioned just now? Mm, I suggest to go to the Holiday Villa as it is uh, known for having very good scenery since it is by the beach mm, and it is good for everyone to just relax there. Um, I feel like that's a good place. However, Mr. Ari, don't you think it's a bit uh, risky since now it's a rainy season and since the venue is outdoor? Mm, oh yes. so. So it'll be very hard for everyone to have a proper dinner. Yes, yes, we will risk um, having to like rush back inside. So I think maybe another suggestion, anybody? Thank you, Miss Arif. Um, I think uh, maybe we can do it at Hard Rock Hotel because the environment and the mood there are very suitable for, you know, like fun. You know, they have like karaoke and then like a place where we can help performance. However, I think this place uh, maybe it will be a little bit not suitable for children as it is not like family friendly. It's not like children friendly, this hotel. Yeah, I think that's like one of the setbacks for this hotel. Mm, I see. But um, if we tend to choose Hard Rock Hotel, Maybe mm -hmm. the workers may have difficulties to perform their prayer because yeah. yes, so we must take that into consideration. Maybe an uh, other suggestion. Uh, okay, as for me, um, as uh, Mister Iman said that it will be hard for them to pray, so I think um, Concord Hotel is the best because it the place is strategic, which means that um, 
all of us can reach to the hotel and it also prepared the surau the mosque which is uh, convenient for us to pray and the budget uh, the budget is uh, may i know mr dorato what is the budget for the venue Okay, so for the um, venue and the um, food, uh, the venue is 800 ringgit and for the food is 400 ringgit. So the total is 1,200 ringgit. Um, so is that is the hotel like um, can cater everything in, uh, under 1,200 ringgit? Uh, I think yes because uh, I have to do some research and it suits uh, our budget. All right, if that I mean everything looks that um, everybody has given a suggestion, maybe best way is for us to give a vote um, between the five of you so everybody can give a vote um, towards um, which hotel we deem best. So the first one that was suggested just now uh, was Holiday Villa. Those who would like to vote for Holiday Villa put a show of hands. No one? Okay, all right. So we have second hotel for um, Hot Rock Hotel. Anyone? Okay, right. Since Miss Alia suggested it, all right. Never mind then. And then I feel like we all have a decision then um, for Concord Hotel. So I assume that everybody is voting for Concord Hotel. Yes. Okay. All right. Then it's finalized. Then we will be choosing Concord Hotel as our venue. Uh, Mrs. Zati, since you are the one who suggested it, uh, is it okay you as a project manager, you can handle things with the hotel? Uh, yes, sure. I will uh, go to the hotel and try to Set find things up. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mrs. Zati. Okay, since we have chosen the place, so I feel like now it's the most favorite part of the meeting, choosing the theme. Um, but since it's Raya, so maybe the theme is based on colors. So anybody, suggestions, please. Okay, um, I have a very funny suggestion, actually. <laughs> okay, I think it'll be funny if, you know, all of us were green because it suits our logo since Village Grocer is like, we have green logo, but yeah, that's like my suggestion. But as I can see on everybody's face, it's, not a good suggestion so yes <laughs> i don't think we're going for like you know our logo team but thank yeah. you Alia, for the suggestion very very good idea maybe we can do it on our spots day yeah okay um so anybody else any other suggestion please uh my name is Tamba. yes uh i would love to suggest blue as our team because i think um it's Malaysians, it's the nationwide um, colour of uh, Raya mm -hmm. for this year. So I think everyone can um, have that colour for our dinner. So yeah, so far that's my idea. I want blue. Okay, okay. Acceptable, acceptable. I like it. Uh, Mrs. Zati, Mr. Ari, Mr. Ayman, maybe you guys have any other suggestions? Um, as for me, I think I agree with Mr. Duratul because Blue is like a uh, warm color. Maybe it's like mm -hmm. it's yeah. True, true. Because the the blue color is like showing us relaxed. So everybody will feel relaxed on that night. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. Blue is also my favorite color, so I feel like I would like that. So, Mister Arif, do you have any suggestions? I suggest maybe you can pick white because it's a very calm color and mm -hmm. it's smooth enough. It's, it can fit us the ceremony very well. Yeah, okay, all right, right. Mr. Ahmad, I know what color you will choose. You will say black, right? Yes, I would like to suggest black because it kind of shows some formality to that event. But mm -hmm. hearing blue and white in this meeting, I think we should um fuse two colors blue and white fuse. for the theme of the event yeah i feel like that actually makes a very very nice combination blue and white yeah so i, I also more... think that blue and white is a color that everybody have in their wardrobe so you know that's 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 okay so it's everybody okay with blue and white 
Yes, yeah. sounds great. Blue and white. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds really good. Final the theme for our annual Raya dinner will be blue and white. Okay. So we've chosen the theme. Now we will be doing um, the discussion on the activities that we'll be doing during the um, annual Raya dinner. Also, note that this is a family um, family friendly Raya dinner. So make sure the activities and the uh, um, the stuff that we'll be doing that night, it's family friendly. So, anybody suggestions? Um, okay, for as for me, I think we it will be best if we do a best outfit competition, which is like uh, the the children will feel like excited to go to the annual dinner, as well as the mother, the parents will prepare any anything before going to the annual dinner. So yeah, I think best outfit competition is one of my suggestion. Yeah, I like that. So best outfit for like maybe can be we can categorize it for the parents, for the children, and as male, female, right? Is that uh, is that what you have in mind? Ah uh, yes. Okay, all right. <clears throat> that's that's one nice activity to be included, right? Anything else? Miss Hamza, yes. I suggest for there to be a. Uh, a lucky draw as it can mm-hmm. allow for many people to participate and it allows people to get all surprises such as maybe the newest iPhone 12 Pro or a possible new new camera and mm-hmm. it allows a lot of different variety so I think that that should be done yeah that's that's a good idea however uh, Miss Dorato maybe you can tell us on the budget of like on these parts, activities and lucky draw and whatnot. Okay, so um, for I forgot to mention before, um, for lucky draw, we have uh, a specific amount of money allocated for this activity, which is only five hundred ringgit. So I think um, if it is better if we can suggest any um, any best prizes for this lucky draw uh, within the budget, and then. Um, uh, we also uh, for is uh, what Miss Izati mentioned before. She want to have the best outfit uh, competition. Um, this we also have. Um, uh, this is also uh, has been allocated in amount. The amount of money is about four hundred ringgit. So um, we can actually we can uh, amend this amount of money from from the prizes to lucky draw or from the lucky draw to the prizes. So. Um, yeah, it depends on you, Mr. Hamza, if we want to do that. Okay, yeah, right, right. That's a good idea. Um, I think that all depends on what our final decision on the activities we want to be done that night. So I think at the end of um, this particular discussion, we'll pick out uh, maybe two or three activities. Maybe three is best. Then only we'll, um, <clears throat> we'll decide on the budget. All right. So maybe just one more suggestion. Um, Mr. Hamza. Yes. Um... <clears throat> Basically, we are doing this annual Raya dinner to increase the bonding between mm. our workers. So why yeah. don't we do a talent time so that our workers can show their talent to their colleagues and maybe this will um, strengthen their bond. That is my suggestion for one of the activities. Talent time, is it? Mm. Talent time, like, like a talent show. Yes, yeah, yes. I- I agree okay. with Mr. Aiman because you know it sounds fun and it's great to see your colleagues do other things besides working, you know, at the office. So this will be activities like singing, dancing, and yeah. all that, right? Okay, all right, sure, sure. I feel like we have the best three already. Um, we have the talent show, we have the lucky draw, and also what Miss Izadi suggested about having the best outfit four categories so to answer Ms. Durato's question is now about, about the budget uh, maybe we can just divide it um, equally because the prizes we also include the prizes for best outfit and also for the talent show and then um, we have a budget for lucky draw so that's only what we'll be touching okay right everybody uh, uh, I think uh, Mr. Hamza yeah. um, I forgot to mention before uh, that since this is uh, an activity that uh, includes the family members um, mm-hmm. this our company uh, doesn't allocate the money the money for um, uh, family members. So if, if 
want to bring our members uh, to the DIN. We have to um, uh, have additional fee in about 15 ringgit to 20 ringgit per person. Is that okay? Um, I feel like yes, that'll be fine. 15 ringgit for adults, right? Is it the same for children? Um, 20 ringgit for adults and 15 for children. Okay, okay. All right, everybody. I think that's um, probably everything that needs to be discussed for our annual Raya dinner. Is there anything that I left out, anybody? Anything that I did not mention? Uh, Mr. Hamza? Yes. Uh, I think you forgot to mention about how we're supposed to know the attendance of our employees and how many family members uh, will be joining yes. us. Yes, yes. Um, okay. I think as um, head of HR, I think it's best for me to settle those attendance and mm. uh, maybe I'll do a survey to our employees about their attendance and how many family members are uh, they bringing. So it will be great for us to, you know, not have any food waste or, yeah. Okay, uh, Mrs. Zaki, uh, make sure that when dealing with the hotel, you also um, connect with Miss Alia to know how much people that will be attending because I'm afraid that if too many people attend with their families that we won't be able to fit um, the ballroom in the hotel. Okay? Alright, sure. I will forward you to it. Okay, alright. Um, I think that's all. Everyone, um, are there any like final suggestions or questions to ask? Yes, I do have a question for Dura. Are there any possible sponsorships that we can use? Um, so far, we don't have anyone want to sponsor our um, Raya annual, uh, annual Raya dinner. But if there's any company or if you have any sponsor, and then you can uh, contact me straight away. So I can um, jot it down and I can uh, take note about uh, the sponsorship. Alright, okay, yeah. Alright, thank right. you. If we have any, um, of any of the families that would like to sponsor, uh, we welcome the sponsors, okay? Mr. Ayman, you have um, noted everything down, right? For yes, this meeting? everything is recorded, Mr. Hamza. Okay, alright, thank you. Um, thank you everyone for being in this meeting. Um, I look forward to having um, the Anu Raya dinner with everyone. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hamza. Thank, thank you, you all. Have a nice everyone. Thank you, Mr. Hamza. You're welcome. Selamat Hari Raya.